what's up y'all welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are new welcome to the family welcome to the gang like this video subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you can be notified any and every single time i upload For those of y'all that are new, my name is Kelly Arishay. You can call me Key. You can call me Kelly. You can call me Arishay. Whatever you're going to call me. And in today's video, I'm not sure if this is going to be a vlog or if it's just going to be me making the cartonias tacos. We'll see. This video is not sponsored, but this stuff was sent by HelloFresh. So, yeah, let's get into it. Right now, my mama is making the creamy dill chicken. So once her food is done cooking, then I'm gonna make the top. But instead of using the pork, I'm gonna use the ground beef. I'm just about to go ahead and show y'all the ingredients. They got some kind of little cold chicken skin, so if y'all wanna do that, y'all might, might not. But I know I moved a little too fast, so just pause the video if you wanna scan the cold. But let's open it. This pepper. So like I said, once her food is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking this, but of course I'm gonna show y'all. For now, we're gonna sit this in the fridge ready. Once again, this is the ground beef. At this point, I'm gonna start a cooking channel. I've been talking about starting a cooking channel anyways, but we're gonna start one once this time to grow a little more. Okay, y'all, so we follow the instructions. They say put the meat in the skillet, add some oil, add some salt and some pepper, and cook the meat for four to six minutes until it's brown. So we're going to do that. As y'all can see, this is what the meat looking like right now. Oh, and I'm not going to be using any onion because my mother is allergic to onion. So, we're not going to use the onion, but we are going to use the tomatoes. And the and tomatoes. Every, and everything else. Hmm? And the tomatoes. And the tomatoes. And the tomatoes. And the tomatoes. Why do you keep saying and the tomatoes? Show y'all just catch y'all can't see. So we're gonna let it cook a little longer. I'm gonna get another skillet because I have to put the tomatoes and everything in the skillet. Hold on. Add a little drizzle of oil and then add the peppers and the onions. But we're not using onions, we're just gonna be using peppers. But you're supposed to add it to the same pan, but I'm adding it to a separate pan just in case. 
somebody don't like these because my brothers are picky. Well, Nate, Nate is picky. So, we're gonna put this in a separate pan. Instead of putting it in the same pan because he may not like it. We're gonna let that cook for a second. You supposed to add salt and pepper too. I almost forget. So, add a little pepper. And add a little salt. Okay, y'all, so it says to add some of the vinegar, some sugar, which I need to put a little more sugar and some salt and some water and stir until it's mostly blended. Well, until it's mostly dissolved. And then set aside and for the next step. So that's what we're about to do. I don't know how I feel about all this salt, but I guess we'll do it since that's the recipe. Okay, so I got it all mixed up and it says set aside and stir occasionally until ready to serve um there's no onions in it because once again my mom is allergic to onions so i'm gonna be using okay onions. so right now i'm about to add the tomato paste to the meat This how the meat looking and it smell real good. Where's the pickle on you? do that much and then we're gonna stir it but y'all it smells real good and it don't take long to cook oh and you also supposed to add salt and pepper to that as well so we're gonna do that and we're gonna stir it and i know i'm supposed to be using the bowl but i'm using the cup so don't judge me for the next step you add a tortilla to a damp pepper towel cover it up and then you want to microwave it. Okay, so the tortilla is done. Now, lastly, you just make your plate. So you add everything that you want to add to it, and then boom. So I'll get back with y'all when the plates are made. They look delicious. They smell delicious. It's quick and easy, y'all. They literally send you the recipes and everything. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video, but it's very quick and easy. It smells really good. Let's go ahead and taste it. It's good. Real good. I give it a 9 out of 10. Actually, let me get one more bite and see. My shell is a little hard right here, so that's why I'm trying to... But... I give it a 9 out of 10. So go first if y'all see this. Y'all want to sponsor the kid. Let me know. Email me. But nah, for real. I think I will be ordering. From yeah, this is real good. I will definitely be ordering from them. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Erishe. Add me on Snapchat at Kiva 2 es and 8 Ys. And add me on TikTok at Erishe as well. I'm ready to go eat. So I'll see y'all in my next video. I love y'all and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Once again, if you are new to the channel, welcome to the family, welcome to the gang. Like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below of videos you want to see from me. And yeah, let me know if y'all tried these tacos before or if y'all had any other food from them. And yeah, I'll get back with y'all. 9 out of 10, boo, real good, real yummy. Look at that. Only thing that was wrong with this one is shell a little too hard, but that's my fault. Bye. <laughs>